Good evening, fellow outlaws, and welcome back. Welcome to episode two of my Red Dead Redemption 2 blind playthrough, first time story mode. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we did uh, episode number one uh, a couple of days ago, which was uh, oh really interesting, not going to lie. Um, I mean, the game looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm uh, hoping to uh, just adjust the uh, the volume. Um, I, I had uh, a couple of messages from uh, from episode one that it was apparently a little bit hard to hear me. So I'm going to try and uh, and keep keep uh, note of of uh, this game, uh, this episode. So again, please let me know if you think things are a little bit quiet on on my side. Then please, you know, just let me know. Uh, tell me. Uh, Tell me what, what's uh, happening in, in your opinion there. But we're going to crack on. Crack back on with the story mode. Um, obviously we're in a... Well, a very snowy area. I don't know... Uh, I don't really know the name of the land or, or anything. But... Um, you know, it's... Well, I mean, wherever the hell we are, it is absolutely freaking gorgeous, like I said. Um, it's really a testament, I think, to the game designers that they've really it has gone into a lot of effort to make, make sure that this looks uh, yeah as good as it can be. So um, we're going to carry on. Um, so we're apparently playing a guy called Arthur Morgan. Might be playing other characters at some point. I don't know. Don't know if it may be like GTA Five where you control a couple of different people. We'll obviously find out in uh, in due course. Um, so last episode that we did, uh, we basically shot up a I don't know what you call it a, a, a camp if you like of uh, men who seem to be employed by the Driscoll brothers or something. And then we chased after somebody, managed to lasso him, and I well. The uh, leader of our camp, a guy called Dutch, said a very interesting thing. He basically said, we either shoot people, feed them, or save them. And we're going to find out which one we need to do with you. So, I'm intrigued. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what shenanigans we get up to in this episode. Uh, please do remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all, all the usual lovely YouTube stuff. And here we are with uh, Arthur Morgan. Okay. So going to this P, whatever, whatever this is, or whoever it is that we're going to see. <coughs> we're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. It's Pearson. It's Pearson. So what? What I like with the, with these, uh, well, so-called outlaws is. How respectful they all are to each other. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea. It's lovely comb over. Fifty days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. 
Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. A sordid, salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Well, let's go then. <coughs> let's go hunt, I guess. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. I wonder how long we're going to be in this sort of snow environment. So, you reckon we're going to find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Oh, we're going to be hunting this way. rabbits, deer. Been a wild few days, all right. Got right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. Those horses must be I freezing. Like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. The transitions between gameplay and cutscenes are really smooth, really beautiful. Some games they look very jarring. So far in this, it, they're so smooth, so good. It's literally like you're watching a movie. Apologies if you hear a bit of dog sparking in the background. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Shush. Stop here a second. I see something. Do you? I can't. Uh, careful. There's <sighs> deer been here. Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Are they supposed That's to be footprints? You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun. I'll scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Uh, no, not Maybe really. Not. Focus. in the 
the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Just about make it out. It's a really slow game. Right, Wait, so look. Can, oh, there they are. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Jesus, I want to try and get a tiny bit closer. Oh. Focus, Arthur. We need this meat. Damn it, it's running. Right for the satchel and just I get the uh, food or whatever it was because it seems like I'm low on health. Gonna sneak up on it nice and quiet. That's it. That's it. You just stay where you are. Damn it!
I'm a really bad huntsman, clearly. Right. Oh, I found my arrow, somehow. And there's two of them. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah. I want to get my boat back. Well, I can see it. Slow it down. Oh. Ah. Where are you going? Follow the tracks. Oh, follow the tracks. Oof. Run up a little bit. Ah, there it is again. Not that way. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm following the bloody tracks. Charles. I wish it was slightly easier to see these uh, these tracks. Damn it! Oh. I'm really bad at this hunting, clearly. It's so hard to see that the, the, it's like a flashing white thing, but it's obviously right against snow. You can barely see what it where where it is. No, not not like that. 
too much noise. There we go. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Am I good? So is my horse coming to me? Hey! Good boy. Good boy. Not bad, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Sure. There we go. Okay. Come on, Charles. You're slow. Anytime today, boy. Come on, then. Let's head back. As long as we don't run into any wolves. Arthur. Oops, sorry. Animal carcasses can be Should dropped be off to Pearson to, to contribute to gang supplies. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon, people are still waiting. Wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Okay. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. I want to know about this one. Blackwater. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Of course. Oh, Miss Adler, the, the, the woman whose house home. burnt down. Everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Good boy. Watch out. Bear up ahead. The what? Let's see if we can find another way around. The bear? Oh. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Hmm. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Where are we going then? Up here, off the trail. 
there much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I'm still wondering that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh yes. Dutch is certainly different. That is to true. Fair, most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things in the Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. That new horse. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time with the other night. She's a strong one. Oh, it's getting hard it's to see again now. Horses is on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Sorry, what I'm just gonna do, I'm just wanna change the audio settings a little bit because now you're starting to hear the uh, um there we go. There we go. Just so I can try and hear the uh, the audio a little bit more. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys. Oh, get out of my way. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just Here you go. What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. You'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> <laughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there.
I mean, that looked very easy there. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. Hmm. It's been a tough few days. Never lie when it, when it's really cold, really good, good stew. A few days later, you've unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and oh, Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie oh, is that the guy we had to from the wolves? Oh, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. John. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. <sighs> We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice hey. have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, who is he? Big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your yeah. horses ready. We have a train to rob. Maybe we're not so uh, honourable <laughs> outlaws or respectable outlaws if we're going to uh, right. to uh, rob a train. So are we are we going from uh, winter into spring now then? Okay, gentlemen, listen up. Easy, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. Okay. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. What about me? Arthur and Mike, yep. you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Okay. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. Okay. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. We're going to private quarters of Leviticus Cornwall. Now come on. Let's ride. Yeah. 
Love the music in this. It's kind of reminiscent of the old old Western movies you probably would have seen. But it's, I don't know, it's got a slightly different feel. Yeah. Sure you're ready for this, kid. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Oh, look at that. Keep your eyes sharp. This is looking nice. No Getting a little bit of greenery. Oh, yeah. We can see things a little bit better so now. We do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. Hey! We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's okay. safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Uh. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Here we go. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Okay. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Tranquilo. Bill? Oh, there you are. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I got it from here. Okay. Yep. Says all fine. Yeah. We'll soon find out. We've connected a detonator or something. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Uh, change the item wheel. Aha. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. Here we go. What to do. Here we go. 
Oh god damn it! Jump on the train. Oh god. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Is he alright? Pull me up. I'm slipping. I, I got you, you Lenny. Take a small phone. Why don't you shoot those bastards? I'll blow your face. Oh! oh. Pushing up. I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know. I'm coming. I'm going up. Oh, oh, crap. I want my hat back. Give me my hat back. Thank you. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. A goddamn blew his brains out. All these bastards must be guarding something. We need the car to get right? Ah! Yep, keep pushing on My hat! My hat! I literally can't see him.
Nope, I want my hat. Where's my hat gone? Is that my hat? Nope, that's a dead body. What are you doing? Get over here. Yeah, I want my hat. There's my hat. I'm coming, but I want my hat. I might as well loot him while I'm here. See if he's got any goodies on him. We don't have time to play games. No, but we've got some time to loot some bodies. Yeah, we're fine. Money and go. We got some fellas hold up in this last car. Oh, have we? Shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. You got no way in here. Catch it up. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Why, yes, please. Door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there dumb. might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Okay. Now, fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. I'm moving, don't you worry. Come on, get on. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Easy as cake. <laughs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and all Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet yeah, to receive payment of 2000 for the initial phase of exploration on the Wapiti Indian Reservation and Barino, okay. as agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar, and the Leyland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases 2 and 3 of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Interesting. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? A platinum watch. So. Thank you. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. A fine brandy. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Anything else? Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar and Another fine brandy. A lot of sugar. Some Another lesser. Fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat. Thank you for the telegram. You're continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine are fin simply fake, and I urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways. So I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. 
I'd also be delighted to host you in Amsburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Okay. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? I'm looking. Some premium Keep cigarettes. Looking. There must be something. A stack of bills. How's it looking in there? I'm still looking. Well, howdy. Is that the railway bonds that we're talking about? I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Uh, <laughs> nope, nothing else. All right. What did you find? These. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well yeah. done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Hey, what do we do, you fine fellas? Do we aim a weapon at them or do we threaten them? Let's threaten them. Okay, get on the train quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Go on. Yeah. Right. Right, let's loot some of these bodies, see what we can get. We need as much money as we can get. We got ourselves some gin. Where's the body? Ah, there he is. Forty eight cents. Is there maybe anything in here that we can take? Got some bitters, apparently. Oh. A silver pocket watch. Some candy, apparently. Some is chocolate. Okay. Oh, what's in this? Snake oil. Wherever that is when it's at home. Nope, nothing there. Horse stimulant. Something there I missed. Fifty seven cents. What's this guy got on him? Nope. 
No, nothing on him. Oh, well. He's a tight bugger, isn't he? Unless you have barely anything on them, do they? <laughs> 46 cents and some gu guama rum. Silver ring. And the silver watch. Takes a long time really to do anything. A platinum pocket watch. Nice. I think this is the last dude. Oh, don't want me one more. Oh, I think it was the guy we chucked off, wasn't it? That was it. Okay, let's go choo choo. Oh, oh, we're just basically starting and sending it on its way. Well, that makes sense. All right, well, that's our first train robbed. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a start game, it must be something that you can do in, in the game properly. So, I don't know you can ride on trains. <clears throat> Eastward bound. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question yeah, we got about is, 39 bucks. I, country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Oh, Arthur, poor John. Arthur, that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Lovely music. No, not not lovely music. Gorgeous music. I'd love to get this soundtrack or something. Don't even know if there is a soundtrack, but it's oh. Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. song all day. Get us out 
the stream. Hey, watch out for the rock. <laughs> gotta keep us moving, but calm. Oh. oh shit. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. So useless after all. There you go. <laughs> Not quite easy as pissing. Oh, who are they? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push Hello, our is it what Native up? Americans? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Mm. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So... What happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been... You know, halt this... A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. To avoid Took becoming too hot, make sure you wear we clothes appropriate to the environment. We drifted okay. around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but 
We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always have. They keep mentioning about the Pinkertons. Me, I'm trying to remember you, where I know Dutch. that name from. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I know it rings a bell. I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got Were they some sort of police or something back in those days? What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. Just realized that was a rock. There's a bit of steam or smoke or mist or something. I was about to run into it. Home sweet home. Well, hey. It's not a bad little You're camp. Wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course mm. Herr strauss I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a okay. town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls okay. have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! Sleep, shave, shit. change clothes, or store weapons in the weapon locker properly. at your tent. Mm. 
Okay. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Okay. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel happier in spite of black water and that whole mess oh. Arthur Jose got a nice beard there <laughs> quite a day let's hope so there's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine Bill, Charles and Javier and Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> okay, so this is our little tent. We can shave here if we want to. So if we had some pomade, we could, the looks of it, slick it back. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, right, so you could... So your moustache, your chin and your chops you could do to different lengths. So if I wanted just the chin for example, I could just have a little thing on that, but I'd have to do it properly if I wanted to. Which I'm not going to do right now. Just taking a quick look around. Uh, we're we're going to finish um, this episode once we've just had a quick little look around. Right, so we can give items. Your beard is getting long. You can use a shaving kit beside your tent or visit a barber to maintain your facial hair. Right, so we can give things. Alright, so things like, like some of these things that we've robbed, we can hand them over and basically effectively give money to uh, um, to the camp. I'll give a, a couple of things there. I don't know what you do with them when, once you've done them, but you can contribute them. I've saved a few more because I want to keep a little bit of money for myself. Good morning. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. So we give all of our can't wait to taste this. Well, I'll take what I can get. Thank you, Arthur. You're very welcome. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Okay. So I could have a uh, an ox ride hug, ox hide rug rather. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before. So I we need two that. perfect ox hides. Okay. A boar skin table cover. 
Oh, I need leather worker tools. It's a perfect ram carcass. We get a big horn ram skull. We get an alligator skull for a perfect alligator skin. Okay. Okay, so Masacho again, you need the the leather working tools wherever you get them from. We get a perfect wool carcass, we get a wolf skull. Moose antlers, snake skin banjo head, campfire seat cover, perfect beaver pelt, perfect muskrat pelt, and perfect fox, fox felt. Uh, two perfect wool, wolf pelts, Jesus Christ. Perfect cowhide, goat hide. Elk antler and buck antlers. Okay. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Hmm. Okay. Time to do some survival there. Let's do a bit of chopping. Why not? While we got a spare few moments, got to learn all these things, haven't we? That'll do. Lovely music. This is the British Airways one, if I if I don't remember. Oh, you can change your clothing. So we've got the gunslinger outfit, the summer gunslinger outfit, the winter gunslinger, the grizzlies outlaw, the brawlers outfit. The ruffian and the rebel. Right. Well, apparently we're hot. So, what should we go with? Um, let's go with the ruffian. But do we want a hat with that? Perfect. Oh, so we can put a coat on that. Ah, and that's... Ooh. Not gonna lie, I like that outfit. That, that vest. Let's go with that vest. Say is that all of them? Right, your boots. 
These boots are made for walking, and that's just what I'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk right over you. Oh, I like them. I like them boots. The spurs. Oh my god, no, I don't want the mask. The bandana. Let's have a bandana. Or do we have a neckerchief? Let's have a hands free, I think. Uh huh. Uh, do we want the better layer? Nah, let's not. I think it'll make us look too much like a rapscallion. That's all of them. So, do we wear a neckerchief or the bandana? Let's wear a neckerchief. Oops. And I meant to save that. You have no outfit suitable for cold weather on your horse. Ah, maybe we should do that then. Uh, oh, jeez. Right, outfits. So, we apparently need some cold weather outfits. So, average, hot, hot, average, hot, hot. We literally only got one. It's literally that one, so let's store that on the horse. And we want some average ones. Um, uh, I think it's a good average one. Perfect. Alright, well that's going to do it for this, this episode, I, I, I think. Um, save game, there we go. Perfect. Alright, well, we have basically robbed the train, done a bit of hunting, and we've moved home. So, it doesn't feel like we've done a lot, um, but we've been going for nearly an hour and a half, so, yeah, I think that, that really goes to show you with this game that you cannot do a lot, but it takes a long time to do it. Um, maybe it'll speed things up now, we're in a bit more sort of open country and everything, we'll obviously have to see because it feels like I remember when I played GTA 5 that it was very fast paced whereas this one you do have to take you a lot more time because obviously you're travelling a lot slower to get anywhere but then you're doing a lot of talking and stuff as, as you're going so yeah we're going to see what Arthur Dutch and the rest of the, the camp get up to next time out so Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and then you'll obviously get the notifications as to when I, I go live with them. I'm doing a couple of uh, different games at the moment. We're doing uh, Formula One, uh, the Formula One Manager game, Red Dead Redemption 2 and, um, and uh, Broken Sword. And then I've got my eye on one or two more games that we're going to do uh, maybe coming up. So... We're going to get a nice variety on the channel. So just make sure that you get tuned in on the channel so that you can keep keep uh, up to speed with everything that's going on. But until next time, thank you for joining me for episode two of Red Dead Redemption. Good night.